Hello and welcome to this Garrett.com training presentation on, on the various set commands within the uh, command line interface. So um, under the set options we've got various things that we can change. I just want to quickly uh, rattle through this list if I can. Uh, let's start at the top, work our way through and um, discuss things as we need to. So the first one is set boot mode. Uh, what this does is if you remember to start when you have a default configuration uh, it goes through DHCP, it goes through boot P, it sets it to manual, automatic. Um, using this command you can set the switch to always get its IP address via DHCP. It'll always get its IP address via boot P which is the older version of DHCP. You can always set it to use a manual mode which is when you manually enter the IP address into the switch uh, the switch defaults to this mode and when you wipe the configuration and the switch is a blank config it defaults to the automatic mode which cycles through these various options here. If you are using boot P you can also specify a boot image and you can enable that functionality here and specify the boot image as well. Uh, you can also specify a configuration file via boot P so you can enable a switch to get an image via boot P and also a configuration file via boot p as well. However boot p is a legacy protocol, uh, generally DHCP is the one most people use in, in uh, uh, typical environments nowadays. Um, boot p is available if you need to use it however. Uh, a useful one we set the dates, in actual fact if I just show you the dates on the switch at the moment it's obviously uh, 2001 it's 19th of May 2011 according to my clock so if we want to set the date we can do that here so um, set date followed by uh, question mark shows us how to structure the command uh, there's no need to memorize every facet of the CLI use the help, that's what it's been designed for uh, specify the month and the day, nice and easy, all, all good stuff Nineteen and then we can use special formats. So uh, if you're an American you put your uh, months first, then days, then years. Uh, we do it uh, differently. We do days, months, years. Some people do years, months, days. Uh, so I'm going to go day, day, month, month, year, 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 year. For the British format, as I said, if you're an American you'll probably want to go month, month, day, day, year, 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 year. Uh, probably made a mistake somewhere. Yes, I did. I misspelled month, so I need to cycle back and add in the U. And uh, <laughs> obviously, I I went to a British high school where they don't teach you to read and write because I misspelled month. Um, yes, finally, third time's a charm. So uh, setting the date and time, we can just go set date, show date, we can see it's correct time now. So let's go set, let's see what else we have here. So uh, daylight savings mode, uh, set daylight. In the UK we use a daylight savings mode, in the US they have various, I believe, so on country, uh, I'm going to say uh, UK. Uh, it doesn't like UK. Um, for some reason they listed uh, England, UK, uh, Britain as London. I suspect that's something to do with the fact that we've got quite a few names here. So we could be British or Britain, we could be England, we could be the UK. So I think they just gone with London because Greenwich is in London. And uh, if obviously if you're in the US, Egypt, France, wherever, you'd set your daylight savings mode accordingly. Uh, so let's go set. What else do we have? So we have set DNS, we covered that in another video. Uh, set FTP, we'll cover that in another video. Uh, set history, this is related to the um, the history buffer. So if I go up, I can see the previously entered commands. So if I go set history, uh, we can set the size to uh, to store more commands. Let's go. Uh, it probably defaults to 10 if I'm memory serves me correct, but we can increase that if we want to. Uh, set log size. This one's quite useful. Uh, what it, well, actually, it used to be fairly useful. Now I think um, by default we set the log size to the maximum. It used to default to 100. However, we can we, the maximum is 1,000. I think typically nowadays 
they come out of the factory set to the maximum. Um, it was deemed more user friendly that way. Uh, we can set the message of a day banner. You'll need to have the secure software if you uh, um, if you want to use this. So that uh, I will cover that. No, I'll cover it here. Uh, so uh, set MOTD. No, wait, I'll cover it somewhere else. So um, uh, set uh, set the password. You can change your password here if you want to. Um, it gives you the old, the new, and uh, so um, set uh, password. Uh, old would be this value, new, and confirm the new. You can do that there. Uh, set secrets. We covered this in the previous video, so. Uh, the passwords are stored in uh, clear text when you export the configuration file to a server as a, te as a text file. If you want to set secrets, you can uh, set them to be encrypted. So you can say hide or show, you can do that there. You can set the parameters of the um, serial port, different board rates for different parities if you want any stoplets, any flow control enabled or disabled. Be careful when you set that because it can cause problems when you try to uh, uh, to uh, console into the switch. I would typically um, shy away from that if I could because your console connection is your last line of defense. It's your emergency access connection to the switch. If you mess around with the default settings then you might know what they are and unless they're well documented then you need to be sure that other engineers will know what the settings are. If it's not well documented, if you change it Another engineer might go to the manual, use the defaults, and then not be able to get in. And uh, so it's always it's fair if you need it, but be careful if you do change it because it could cause you problems. Um, other things we can set is things like the uh, the uh, SNMP mode. We can change it from version one, which is the default, to version two C and and version three, which is the all. So if you want to use uh, version two C or version three, you need to change it to set SNMP type to all and here you can see it supports version 1, version 2C and version 3 now. So that's what else do we have? Set uh, set time. So we set the date previously, let's set the time now. Um, set time, let's go show time. You can see the clock. Let's go set time is uh, 14.36. So hour equals 14, min equals 36. Done. Show time. I don't think it like the second sec. Done. Now if I go show time. There we are. Two thirty six. Um so we're setting in twenty four military time, twenty four hour clock, and we're showing in um conventional sort of AM PM time. Uh set what else do we have? Uh, time format. So here, for example, you can change that if you didn't like it. Uh, so we got uh, 12 hour. Let's change it to 24. You need to have a space between time and format. Uh, uh, with me one moment. Where's my Set time, format, question mark, ah, so time format, format equals 24, done. Now if I go show time, it shows it in military time if you're Americans or 24 hour time if you're in the, the UK. Um, set timeout, so this is uh, the idle timeout, if you if you turn it into the switch and you're not, you're not doing anything for a period of time and there's an idle timer which will set you if you don't um, if you're not doing anything for a while it'll kick you off automatically. You can change that here uh, using the set timeout option. Okay, so what I did is I had a quick look at the manual just to because uh, I'm embarrassed to say I didn't know how to set the timeout. Um, it's not timeout space and then question mark that didn't do us any good. 
uh, you need to the command is actually uh, set timeout equals and a value in minutes okay so just to reiterate set timeout equals a value say 10 minutes uh, after a period of 10 minutes of inactivity then you'll be kicked off the switch by default I wanted to come back to that one because I, I hosed it up a bit further up here I didn't uh, explain that one properly okay uh, set time zones. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, okay, so if you're plus or minus GMT time, fortunately we're in the UK and uh, we are based on Greenwich Mean Time, and um, which means we don't have to worry about any offsets. But if you are in the US, I think East Coast is uh, plus five hours, and uh, West Coast USA is plus eight hours, I believe. But you can uh, set those offsets based from GMT here, depending on where you are in the world. Okay, so I think that completes the uh, this miscellaneous section on set commands. I hope this has been interesting and helpful. And on behalf of Garrettcom, I'd like to thank you for your time. And goodbye.